Hey, what's up guys? This is Malty with Infinity Loops and today you're going to learn how to juicy flick. Staring hard at the future Only close my eyes to blink This is my sanctuary This is my place to think I'm driving till I find What I've been looking for But it's inside so a juicy flick is actually a pretty simple maneuver, especially once you break it down into its individual steps, which is what helped me a lot in the beginning learning it. So what I started with was, even though it seems simple, go back to the basics. Go ahead and practice your front half flip, lock it in to where your camera is flat with the horizon, half flip back out of it. Once you're feeling comfortable there, go ahead and rinse and repeat and do that with your roll. So you come up, half roll, half roll out. Make sure you get it nice and flat, snappy, and bring it back out. Once you're feeling comfortable there, go ahead and put the two together. So half flip forwards, half roll out. And that is your juicy flick. Let's go ahead and take it into the sim and give it a try. Alright guys, got Veloster and open up. Go ahead and jump in here. I'm going to be flying the uh, 75 2S. I have it lightened up a little bit and the power turned all the way down to kind of make it feel similar to the 1S75 I just recently built. Highly recommend them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and as always, when you're learning something new and you have a sim, um, open it up. Try it in there first. That way you don't have to worry about breaking anything. Give yourself a little bit more confidence. And uh, if you can't turtle mode, you don't have to run and pick it up. Alright guys, let's pop up and take it over here and do the first step of our juicy flick. And that would be the half front flip go ahead and lock it into the horizon there and then once you're feeling good there go ahead and move on to your half a roll all right once we're good there we'll take it over here and do our first juicy flip there it is um, it's probably one of my favorite maneuvers there's a lot you can do with it it's really fun going through gaps with it because when you flip through it, you can uh, kind of focus on the gate as you go through as for a point of interest. Let's go up here and do it with this top gate. And as you can see there, it's also a really nice way to turn around. Add a little bit of style to it. Do it again. There's other ways you can get out of it. That's just good for like turning around. A uh, simple way would be to just kind of yaw out of it to kind of keep your forward momentum while leaving it. But if you watch some videos, there's there's a lot of different things you can do with that maneuver. Um, and a lot of other tricks that stem from it. Uh, so another thing you can do, I don't haven't done a whole lot, but is doing, doing the backflip variation. Kind of like that. Again, not something I do a whole lot. Alright guys, now that we played around with that, let's go ahead and take it outside in the real world and uh, give it a go. Two choices on my mind, four hours on the road, give way to control, go around it a thousand times, I'm holding on too tight, let it go and feel the right. Is it stupid that I love you when I never 